In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Peterbald cat. Similar in size and appearance to the Sphinx or Oriental Shorthair, the Peterbald cat is a newer breed of Russian origin with a unique coat and devoted family disposition. A relatively new breed of cat, the Peterbald is a Russian bred cat with a very complicated relationship with fur. Coming in a variety of coat colors and patterns, the Peterbald can have a coat of short hair, fine peach fuzz, or no hair, all of which can change throughout the cat's lifetime. But don't let the coat fool you, these cats aren't just a visual novelty. The Peterbald is a loving, affectionate, deeply loyal family cat breed, that develops strong bonds with people and loves the company of other animals. 1. Peterbald Cat's Appearance The version people might be most familiar with, because it's the most photographically memorable are the Peterbalds that are totally hairless, or have only very fine short hair on the face, paws and tail. Within this subset, there is an even more hairless version called the Ultra Bald type, which doesn't even come with eyelashes or whiskers. A coat of very fine fuzz, which has sometimes been described as feeling like velour. This hair is extremely fine and soft to the touch, and may cover the entire cat's body, or just appear in patches, mainly around the extremities. A coat of varying lengths that is made entirely of downy soft hair, much like the undercoat of a long-haired breed. Again, soft to the touch and very fine. Some coats may lack the Peterbald trait entirely, and have an ordinary cat coat. These Peterbalds are called straight coats. Genetically, they're identical to their bald relatives, and they can be registered and bred as Peterbalds, but they're not championship material, and are only kept as pets or for breeding. As an added bonus for multicolored Peterbalds, the coat will sometimes grow in two distinctly different types of hair, with white parts of the coat being soft, downy hair and the darker spots being more wiry and coarse. No matter which of those categories your Peterbald kitten was born in, just know that he may not actually stay that way, as his coat may change over time. Nude Peterbald kittens have grown coats, and straight-coated kittens have lost all their hair, all within the first two years of life. Peterbald whiskers are often a grab bag as well, sometimes appearing curled, crinkled, or even as barely there. Vestigial whiskers. The Peterbald is a medium-sized cat with a long, lean body shape, tight abdomen, and usually wedge-shaped head. Ears tend to be comically oversized, rounded triangles that take up much of the real estate on the sides, and tops of their heads. Their almost almond-shaped eyes are on the large side, and usually green in shade. The tail is long and whippy. 2. Peterbald Cat's Temperament The Peterbald is an incredibly affectionate, playful cat. He gets along famously with humans of all ages, shapes, and sizes, and loves to follow his bonded family around the house, as they go about their day. He'll also get along well with other cats and even dogs. Playtime with other animals and smaller children should be at least passively monitored, however, because all that exposed skin does make the Peterbald more susceptible to injuries like scratches and cuts, which will need to be disinfected and cleaned. Since he trends towards the more vocal side, you'll never wonder where your Peterbald is in the house, as he'll be happy to describe his day to you in real time. While they make marvelous house cats and are happy to climb into your lap when they can, they shouldn't be allowed outside and don't travel particularly well, as their thin, or non-existent, coat doesn't provide them with much protection from the elements. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 3. Peterbald Cat's Living Needs Extremes in temperature can be difficult for this little guy, since he doesn't have a lot of fur helping him regulate. This means that colder climates might be a challenge, but too much direct sunlight is problematic as well. For these reasons, the Peterbald should never be let outside on his own, and should remain an indoor cat. Beyond those basic concerns, the Peterbald is a pretty easygoing housemate. They enjoy toys and will climb from time to time, but mostly enjoy following you around the house, and watching what you decide to do with yourself during waking hours. 4. Taking care of them. If your Peterbald has fur, maintenance is pretty simple. For downier coats, a rub down once a week with a chamois or glove takes care of it. For the straight coats, a soft brush and you're done. If your cat has hairless patches or is fully bald, then baths are going to be necessary, probably weekly. The natural oils in their skin and saliva will keep them moisturized and healthy, but regular bathing will keep those oils from building up and causing skin issues like acne. Feeding can sometimes be a complicated issue for Peterbalds. They have a higher than average metabolism, with some owners reporting feeding them up to five times a day. However, whether or not your Peterbald has been spayed or neutered can also change how much they can take in without gaining weight. 
This is one reason why Peterbald owners may choose to only feed their cats during specific windows throughout the day, rather than just leaving food out for them for the whole day, a tactic referred to as free choice feeding. 5. Peterbald Cat's Health The biggest daily issue you'll need to watch out for is your Peterbald skin. Too much direct sunlight can lead to sunburn, and prolonged exposure can open up the potential for skin cancers, so keeping them shaded and indoors is important. Additionally, making sure that any scrapes or cuts are properly cleaned and dressed, will keep infections from setting in. Beyond those issues, the Peterbald is such a new breed that there haven't been many breed-specific concerns raised yet. Keeping any eye out for common cat maladies as they age, like kidney and heart disease, is important. 6. Peterbald Cat's History the first recognized Peterbald was born in St. Petersburg, Russia, in late 1994 as the result of an experimental breeding between a Don Sphinx female and an Oriental Shorthair male. For this reason, straight-coated Peterbalds can sometimes be mistaken for Siamese, and full-nude ones are often mistaken for Sphinx cats, but the Peterbald is now a genetically separate breed, while the gene that creates baldness appears to follow basic Mendelian genetics, in an average litter, one in four cats will be bald, one in four will have an ordinary coat, and two in four will have some middle variation of coat. There is currently no understanding for why some Peterbalds change their coat, or lose it entirely, over their lifetimes. The Peterbald was accepted for championship competition by the International Cat Association, TICA, in 1997 and by the American Cat Fanciers Association in 2008. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.